Bolton, Blackburn, and then Darwin here. And you can find us here now, round angles out. Well, that's what we're trying to achieve today. So we're going to follow the woodland trail to begin with. Although what we're doing, of course, is a complete circuit of Angles Arc, which will certainly take longer than an hour and a quarter. Probably more like two, two and a half hours. Although in the virtual world, it'll probably take 10 minutes. Now we do have the option of following the path of directly around Angles Arc, but I've heard say this one that takes us up into what's called Leicester Mill Quarries. It's just kind of like the high road as it were. It's a bit more interesting, obviously not quite as flat as the, the other path. So we're now in Leicester Mills Quarry, which I'm sure you can see the sort of cliffs behind me there. Um, it was operational from 1880 to 1920, so this came in place after Angles Arc um, was opened up in terms of the reservoir. Uh, the other interesting point is the fact that there are about 160 rock climbing routes around here, so a good place to come and explore, and particularly the car park being relatively close, you probably only have to walk about 100 metres to get to one of the routes. So yeah, come explore and enjoy when you can, of course, after lockdown. Sorry about that. Hi folks, got an interesting dilemma here. I'm not quite sure if to take you that way over to Follow Reservoir, which is just a small kind of reservoir that's just off to one side and um, goes through the woods. Or we'll go around this other side and keep kind of religiously to the edge of Angles Arc. Both options are equally interesting and beautiful. Um, I'll tell you what, I think we'll do both. So I'll take you around Buller Reservoir first, which is like I say, just a very small reservoir. It's way forward, it's the way we're going. But then I'll come back to here and then keep kind of like religiously to the edge of um, Angles Art Reservoir. So then you'll be able to see both. And then if you ever come this way, um, you kind of forewarned us to which option you may want to choose. Okay, let's go this way. Imagine it was. You don't get many people down this bit, do you? No. This is why we like it up here. Yeah. There's no one there. Well, push it down with your nose. Oh, good. This is beautiful, isn't it? I presume. Yeah. I think in drier weather I might be tempted. So we've just been walking round Buller Reservoir. Originally it was called Chorley Reservoir. 
because it actually was for the citizens of Chorley. And this was the first of all the eight reservoirs put in place in 1850. This particular reservoir is the smallest of the eight and it's actually got quite a pleasant setting. Anyhow, we're going to go back over and connect back up to um, Angles Art Reservoir and continue the story around there, or continue, sorry, the journey around. Okay, we continue our quest around Angles Art Reservoir. We're back on track now. Um, Angles Art Reservoir is the largest of the eight reservoirs that are in this particular area. And these reservoirs were put in place for the good citizens of Liverpool in the 1850s. And in fact, this kind of came on stream, as it were, in 1857. At the time, Liverpool was suffering from a low life expectancy, which the medical director at the time believed was caused by the impurity of the water that they were extracting from the local wells. And so this scheme, in essence, was put in place to solve a health crisis for the good citizens of Liverpool in the 1850s. Okay, we're now heading towards what's called Waterman's Cottage, which is right at the northern end tip of Angles Arc. Um, oh, and we've got quite a bit of mud to get through. So, let's go and get muddy. So this is where both of the routes come together, just where this sign is behind me. In fact, if you would have done the keeping more closely to the Angles Art route, you would have come down the steps just over there. If you've done the Reservoir Buller route, you will have um, come from over that track down there. Yeah, and they come together here and we can carry on towards the north end of the reservoir. If you've got a favourite if you come this way and you've got a favourite in terms of which route you would take I'd be interested to hear your thoughts or even if you only got the opportunity of looking at it virtually again I'd be interested in which you would particularly choose right let's move on like I say we're going towards the northern end of Angles Arc now towards what is called Waterman's Cottage As you can see this is quite a popular place to stop and have your lunch 
because you can't get a full view of Angles Arc. Now we can see Angles Arc kind of full view. As I mentioned before, it is the largest of the reservoirs. It has a perimeter of 4.3 miles. And this walk is probably going to turn out to be about five miles with about 600 feet of ascent. So we've got about 50 meters of this mud that we have to go through, which is not bad really in 50, sorry, 55 miles I'm hoping to walk. So this is Waterman's Cottage, so we're now at the north end of Angles Out Reservoir. This is, um, would have been built around about the same time as the reservoirs, so around the 1850s. So we could go up the footsteps and follow those ladies, but for once I'm actually recommending a road route, mainly because I want to see one of the old houses, but it is actually quite pleasant and the track you end up on is certainly better than the muddy field at the top. The date on the farm is 1696 and I love these. Hi guys, as you can see, I've stripped off a bit. I can't believe how warm it's got from the sort of grey, miserable, cold morning I started with. But what you can see on the opposite side of the valley here is Angles Art Moor. So not surprising, that's where the res reservoir gets its name. We're now on what's called the Healy Nab side and we're now heading in a southerly direction towards the kind of bridge or the wall end that separates Angles Art from Rivington. Almost a scene from the Lake District. I could almost believe him there. But only almost. So the track we're on now is called Heapy Fold Lane. And um, it's supposed to, on the map, it's dead straight. I'm not sure it's quite as straight on the ground. Um, but that straightness gives us a clue that it maybe have been a Roman road of some sort and apparently it has been investigated and it believe it was a um, connection road to um, Preston signalling station. Keep with me and we will get there I hope. What you now see is quite an extensive embankment that goes down about one third of Angles Arc. And apparently when it was originally built, it was quite a feat of engineering in the 1850s. So guys, we've got a little bit more to do. We're now gonna go out of this field round along the wall of Angles Arc, like the southern end. Then we'll walk along the road a little bit to the Yarrow overflow before we finish at the car park. Meanwhile, I just want to say thanks for being with me on this journey. I've certainly benefited from the sun whilst you've been sat at home. If you've not subscribed, then please do, or share with like-minded people welcome any comments and um, as always thumbs up for the ducks right let's get going for the next part as you can see we've arrived at the southern end of our angles art now and yes I am taking a little bit of a rest 
and then we'll go to the end of here and I suppose the next point we might have a look at is the Yarrow Overflow. So this is the Yarrow Overflow that feeds into Angles Arc. This is coming from the Yarrow Reservoir which in turn is fed from the Yarrow River which originates on Angles Arc Moor.